a while back, I made a couple of videos that talked about 31 changes in all that I'd like to see come to Sony cameras. And with the Sony F01, uh, I'm happy to report that it does address some of these. So I just want to go over all of them and kind of tell you what changed for the better, in my opinion. So first up, change crop mode while clearing the buffer, and that has changed. So now that you can uh, shoot a bunch of photos and you can go in and out of crop mode, shoot a bunch more in and out of crop mode, much better. Uh, focus point limiter, which in the videos I wanted like a nine point focus uh, selection option. So uh, instead of having to nudge your focus point over a million times, you could just hit it once and it's already to one side and everything like that. It doesn't have this exactly in this camera, but I'll give them points because now there's a standard or large you can choose from. And when you're in large mode, a couple clicks over will get you a much greater distance across the frame. Next up is the allow focus point change while AFC is active. And like the Sony A9 II, the Sony A1 has this as well. Flexible spot, extra small, it's not in here. Shutter controls AF added to the function menu, not in here. 2X crop mode is not in here. Large embedded JPEGs in the RAW files is in here, which is great, especially if you use Photo Mechanic. Um, that means for people like me, I used to have to shoot uh, RAW plus JPEG, and the JPEG was only used for calling purposes because the embedded JPEG inside the RAW file wasn't big enough to really use for calling and see if it was sharp or not and all that. Now it is. It's full size JPEGs in the RAWs. Uh, there's no SRAW. Faster wake time is not. It's not any faster in my experience. Remove info screen when changing to C1, C2, and C3 modes. It's still there, it's still annoying. <laughs> Recall custom hold option of disabling stabilization. It's not present. Recall custom hold option for AFC tracking sensitivity is there. So now you can choose, uh, just like in the menu, the one, two, three, four, five sensitivity. Recall custom hold faster activation. It's also in here. Once you hold your whatever custom button you used, it activates your recall custom hold much quicker. Focus distance recall, no. Custom focus ranges, nope. Reimagining the zebras for still photography, they still the regular zebra menu. Large grippier control wheel, no. Added button between AF on and AEL, nope. Remove lock from mode selection dial, nope. Although I did, it's not on this one, it's on my Sony A7. As, no, A7R3. There's a little thing you can buy now that kind of solves it. Redesign the strap lugs, same old strap lugs. Although the FX3 was just announced and that does have a uh, redesign. Error messages shouldn't be full screen. Unfortunately, they're still full screen. Crop mode indicator. This used to be a problem where if you were using anything but the all info screen, there was no way to know if you were in crop mode or not other than just kind of remembering or recognizing it when you're looking through the viewfinder, but sometimes you lose track. But now there is a little icon that's in the bottom right that will tell you if you're in crop mode. Lens stabilization controlled by the camera. That's not here. Fully articulating screen compromise. I don't have an issue with this one because it's not the swing out screen, which I hate. It's also not the compromise. So I know there's already people talking that they don't like that the Alpha One used the just flip up screen. There's no compromise between the two where it can do both the flip up and a flip out. Custom order of the focus areas, no. Fixed delay of information when the viewfinder turns on, no. So like when you're waking up from sleep, you'll usually see like the focus area first and then the rest of the information will pop up a little bit delayed from that it's still slow sensor protection yes so like the a92 the shutter when you turn the camera off you can have it so the shutter is up and so it's protecting the sensor from dust and whatever else full-time manual focus override via camera no memory card directory cleanup no and yes to real-time bird I autofocus. So obviously that was a major addition for just the Alpha 1 now. Uh, it's the only camera from Sony that has it. So it's great to see and really excited about that one. I do have one thing that I wanted to add and that's going to be adding a continuous shooting frame rate option in Recall Custom Hold. And I understand why they don't, um, but I'm just going to talk about it anyways because there's a physical mode dial on the camera that's going to determine which frame rate it's shooting. So it'd be kind of confusing if your camera, the physical dial says one thing and your camera shooting something else. I get it. But in the scenario of having a 30 frame per second camera, in the scenario of shooting like a perched bird that's not moving a ton, uh, you don't want to be shooting 30 frames per second. You can. I have this, in, this whole week. I've been shooting 30, 30 frames per second no matter what. 
Uh, that's a lot of stuff to throw away and have to deal with later. So my idea is just, you know, being able to shoot a slower frame rate when the bird's perched. But if it does take off and you can activate your custom hold, which is your bird in flight settings or whatever, in an instant, it'd be nice to have it also shoot 30 frames per second, just without having to touch anything. So that's my new addition. But otherwise, they took care of 9 out of the 31, which is pretty nice.